I'd normally do this video when the season is over, but well, it already might be. We don't know that yet. So what this video is, is me running through the list of players that I want to see Man United sell this summer. I think so far under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, United have done very well in terms of the players that have left the club. And this summer, we've got to make sure we do the same thing again. If this rebuild, restructuring, whatever you want to call it, is to continue. And there's a lot that United need to do. So make sure you subscribe below if you're not already subscribed to United People's TV. We're all in isolation. We may as well do it together. But let's run through that list of players that I think United should be selling this summer. The first name on the list is Paul Pogba, but that's a question rather than me saying I want to sell him. I've done a separate video on Paul Pogba entirely. You can follow the link in the description to go and watch that. Should we keep him? Should we sell him? Go to that video and leave your own comments. But the first player I think absolutely should be sold, and that is Phil Jones. How is Phil Jones still a Manchester United player? I honestly cannot get my head around it. I think if he was anywhere near as good as Chris Smalling, he would have been sold this summer, but nobody wanted to sign him. Maybe that's a problem the United will have this summer as well, but United needs to get rid of Jones. You know, the new Duncan Edwards was what Fergie said. He could not have been more. Maybe injuries ruined it for him. I remember right at the start we signed him from Blackburn. He, he seemed very, very good. You could see the excitement around him, but cut our losses. It's time for Phil Jones to finally move on. And a player I think should be leaving this summer is absolutely Jesse Lingard. Don't forget how good Jesse Lingard was at one point at United. I think it was around 2018. He just he was a very important squad player. He delivered cup final goals. Lingard was your man to rely on, and he could not have been any more different in the last uh, 18 months. Lingard is more of a, a burden than an asset to this United team right now. And I think if he wasn't a United Academy graduate, he probably would have already been sold. But now is the summer. Because Bruno Fernandes has come in, he set a high bar the new high bar that we need to be aiming towards if we want to catch Liverpool and City. And that means players like Jesse Lingard have to be sold, as well as Andreas Pereira. Pereira, again, I think like Lingard, had he not been an academy graduate, United would have been more cutthroat with him. But Pereira, Bruno especially in that comparison, because they play more in the number 10 role together. He's just, they're nowhere near each other. And Pereira has had opportunities plenty of opportunities to prove his worth to the team and he has failed unfortunately to do that on a consistent enough basis to keep a place in the squad next year so I would like United to replace Lingard and Pereira as well as Phil Jones. Somebody who it hasn't really worked out for at United and that is Timothy Fosu Mensah. I remember watching him when we signed him from Ajax with the under 18s pushing through to the 19s, 21s, 23s that debut, I think he was away at Spurs. You think he looks mustard. Injuries have ruined him. Managerial changes haven't helped. Loan spells at Crystal Palace and Fulham haven't worked out. I think now is the time we can say Timothy Fosu Mensah. It just hasn't worked out at United. And there have been loads of exciting players in our academy. Will Keane is one that springs to mind straight away. James Wilson too. Players that you think are going to make it, but just don't do it. Injuries haven't helped him. But I think it's time for Timothy Fosu Mensah to be sold this summer. And there are other players as well on loan, and there's one that we absolutely need to get rid of, and it's probably one of the most important things that the club can do this summer, and that's Alexis Sanchez. We're paying him, what, best part of £200,000 a week not to play for United. Currently on loan at Inter, and we're paying half of his wages. A huge mistake. If you're looking at one single transfer that sums up how United have got it so categorically wrong since Fergie retired, I would point to Alexis Sanchez. Bought on inflated wages, just the only reason he chose United ahead of City was because of the wages. If he wanted titles and trophies, he wouldn't have joined United at that point. That's a truth, a truth that not, maybe not United fans want to hear, or I probably shouldn't say, but it is the truth. And Sanchez has always played with his head slumped and his shoulders down. It's never seemed like he really wanted to work for it at United, not like he did at Arsenal, where we all admired him as one of the best strikers in the Premier League. It has not worked out catastrophically. That's how bad the signing of Sanchez has turned out. And United need to draw a line in the sand and find somebody that will sign him. Because he has to leave this summer. And I think Marcus Rojo will leave as well. Already on loan, I think, at Estudiantes. Rojo's a mad bastard. When it worked with him, it was great. I think that season prior to him getting the injury, I think it was it Celta Vigo in the Europa League? 
Same game that Zlatan Ibrahimovic got a, a ligament injury as well. He was class in there, sort of auxiliary centre-back. But Rojo is, uh, is too mad. You just can't rely on him. He's mad. There's no other way to describe him. He's a bit like Bai, but Bai has a little bit more quality about him. That's why I'm still ho hoping, sorry, that it works out with Bai. But with Rojo, he's already on loan. I think that's pretty much the writing on the wall and he should be leaving. And I think Chris Smalling will have deservedly earned himself a decent move to a top club. And I would put Chris Smalling in the same category as sort of like Johnny Evans. When we sold Johnny Evans, we had, was it Rio and Vidic? And there was no real way through for him, a bit like when Gerard Piquet was younger. Johnny Evans went on to have a fantastic career elsewhere. And I think Chris Smalling will do the exact same. He was absolutely shining in Serie A, where it's more of a defensive focused game, a slower pace of football. And it allowed Smalling to be the good defender that he can be. But at United, like Phil Jones, he's just a, mem a memory of the past that you don't want to hold on to, unfortunately. And for us to properly move on as a club, we need to just sell these players, get rid of these players, move them on, replace them with fresh blood and move on as a club. And I think Smalling, Rojo and Sanchez, who are all on loan at the moment, should all be sold instead of brought back to the club as players next season. That is my list. If you look at it there, Phil Jones, come on, he's absolutely got to go. Timothy Fosu Mensa, he's got to go. Jesse Lingard, Andreas Pereira. There's only two or three players there that I would consider first team squad members, but players that all the more that they are on United's books, so we have to get rid of them. And then Sanchez and Smalling and Rojo already out on loan, and it goes to show that they're not part of United's plans. I don't think we'll struggle to find a buyer for Smalling. I don't actually think we'll struggle to find a buyer for Rojo. I think he'll go back to Argentina like he is now and he'll find a club and he'll have a nice end to his career. Alexis Sanchez is going to be the big question. Maybe he'll move to China because if China are offering Odi Nogalo 400 grand a week, I think they can probably offer Sanchez the same amount of money. But that is my list. Paul Pogba is the big question over whether you keep or you sell him. Make sure you follow the link in the description to watch my video on that. But I want to know where you stand. As I said, I'd normally do this video later in the year after the season's finished because that's when you can talk about it. But nothing's happening with football at the moment. We don't know when it's going to be back or if it'll be back this season, whether it will be nulled. And that would be such a devastating shame if that was to happen, wouldn't it? Hmm. But who would you want to see United sell this summer? Who do you think is important to get rid of to continue this rebuild that we're doing? As I said, I think Solskjaer's done very well with the players that have left and the reasons behind it but we need to continue it this summer and not start making mistakes because as soon as we do that, it lets Liverpool and City run away again. But let me know who is on your sell list in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV and make sure you stay safe right now during this global pandemic that is the coronavirus. Stay at home, listen to the advice of your own government and don't be a dick.